Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you the three waypoint options you have for the waypoints flight mode. One is the adjustable heading, two is the route linked heading, and three is simply called free. All three options allow limited control of the Mavic using the left and right control sticks. And within the app, this is where you would select one of these three options. Okay. Now what's important to note is the version that I'm using. I'm using the DJI Go app version 4.0.1. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Adjustable heading. So here it's heading to the first waypoint. And now heading to the second waypoint. What's important with this option is that you cannot adjust the yaw, so you can adjust the facing of the Mavic. So right now it's pointing in this direction based on the facing of the Mavic when I first set the waypoints. Now at this point it's heading to this third waypoint, which is basically toward that cross. And then now it's actually heading to the fourth waypoint and it's starting to face automatically to the direction I was facing when I set the final waypoint. I have no control over the yaw. Alright, the second option is a route linked heading. So right now it's heading to waypoint number one. Okay, there it's hit waypoint number one. And this is the facing that I had when I set waypoint number one. Heading now to waypoint number two. The inset video you're seeing is when I leave the left control stick for yaw untouched. The main video allows me obviously to control the heading. You can see me moving back and forth a lot there. Okay, we've hit waypoint number two. We're heading to waypoint number three. And in this instance, they happen to be matched, but I could move the yaw stick any way I want at that point. Okay, now it's heading to the last waypoint, waypoint number four. And again, on the main frame, I have complete control over the yaw. All right, the third option is the free option. And so here we've hit waypoint number one. And right now I'm actually moving backwards just for a moment there until I took control of the, the yaw. And there's, no, there's not much to explain here in the free mode. It's not going to adjust which way it's going to face. You have complete manual control over the facing of the Mavic. All right, so in summary, the three options you've got, adjustable heading, really should be called something like fixed facing because you have no control over the yaw. The second option, route lock heading, you do have control over the yaw, so it should be called something like adjustable facing. The third option, free, you must manually control the facing of the Mavic. Okay, and again, I want to point out this is for DJI Go version 4.0.1. Okay, so we've got all three options that allow right control stick to slow stop or reverse direction along the flight path when you pull the stick down. When you release the stick, the Mavic will continue along the forward direction. I did not demonstrate that in the aerial footage, but you can do that moving the stick forward. Doesn't seem to really do anything. The speed is set by how you set the speed in the app. All right, the left control stick for altitude and right control stick for left-right movement have no effect. And finally, the gimbal must be manually controlled. 
Now, during this testing, I uncovered something very important. The Mavic does not reach the actual waypoint as it turns toward the next waypoint. If the next waypoint is at a different angle, vertically or horizontally. So for those people who are looking for some precision in setting your waypoints, don't do it. Look at the next video. I'm going to do a follow-up video to this video that will actually test the precision of the waypoints. Okay, so uh, if you like this video, please like it. Ask me any questions. Please subscribe if you like this video. I've got a lot more other videos coming up here. So uh, hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. Thanks for watching, guys. All right, bye.